Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. We're going to go ahead and get started with the live chat. I hope everyone is doing well and that you are enjoying your Sunday afternoon um, or Sunday evening. A um, couple of things I'd like for us to talk about today, and that's whether or not through the summer we want to continue with the um, chat. Hi, Ivana. I'm thinking that with travel plans and daylight saving time and the warm weather, that there will actually be more of us that are not at home at 6 p.m., than during the cooler, darker winter months. So I'm actually thinking that once the time changes, that I may uh, discontinue the chat until time changes back in the fall. So if you would, in the comment section, just let me know what you think about that. Um, again, I, I think with the time change and travel, and all of that outdoor activities that it may be a little more difficult for me uh, to be online at the 6 p.m. hour. So a couple of things. Um, the first is I wanted to share a bag that I picked up a little while back, but I have not carried it yet. And um, from a bag color standpoint, it's a color that I've had a couple of people comment on my channel on related to my, I think it was my unicorn bag. So I wanted to share this one because Patent Leather is making another return this summer. And I wanted to share this beauty. And I just hope that the color is coming off on camera and it is in the color lilac and it is a patent leather drawstring bag let me see if i can get that off so a bucket bag a drawstring bag those are just kind of classic okay, let's see they're classic bags and this particular one, I thought, given the summer, the size, the strap, but it would be a great bag for this summer. I'm hoping that it will patina um, a little quicker than normal just because I think this is going to, um, you know, in the summertime you have more oils and lotions and things like that on your hand, you're sweaty, and I just have a feeling that um, it's going to change, but I, it's going to change. I just want it to change evenly. Hi, Julie. Hi, Pauline. I think I saw the purse fairy. Hello, hello, ladies. So this is the first bag. And the strap is the same way. And the strap is what has me nervous. Not because it's thin, although that is a concern for me. But because it's going to be on my shoulder. And, you know, bare shoulders and oils and stuff. I've got a feeling that the bottom piece is going to change colors at a rate different from the top because this will suntan evenly but this bottom side on my shoulder is just going to pick up you know body oils and stuff so i'm not sure what that's going to look like but maybe at the end of the summer i will do an update on this bag but there's the back and there is the front and there's the bottom. So it's a pretty wide based bag. The leather, you know, it reinforces and it has a solid, solid bottom. So I really like this one. I haven't carried it yet, but I thought that I would share it this week because there were a few comments that came in on my unicorn bag. So that one is out there. 
Um, colors have a tendency to recycle, right? So there aren't any new colors really under the sun. It's just a blend or variation of what already exists. Uh, so I don't know that we will see this color, this exact color, but if I recall correctly, purple or lilac or some version thereof is the Pantone color of the year. So I'm sure we're going to see more of that particular color family as we move throughout the year. The next item is bag related. And I was just going back through some of the things that I picked up while I was in Hawaii. And I don't know if I um, shared this or not. But it is a handbag hook. And I really like the flowers and the fact that this is heavy duty. And my bags are typically pretty weighed down. So I felt like I needed a heavier uh, purse hook. Because one of the ones that I picked up from Amazon, it didn't survive. And there's the website. They do ship stateside if you're interested. And it's really heavy. I wish you could um, feel it. But it was about $13. And typically I wouldn't have paid that much for one. But given the fact that it was... Um, you know, the weight of it and the fact that I was on vacation, I thought, what the heck. So there we have it and it hooks. And of course your bag hooks in the J and it sits on the table. So I really like that. So I'm gonna put that on uh, the bag that I'm gonna be carrying this week because I'm switching back into my nylon um, Courtney sack because I'm traveling this week for training for work to home office and that way I don't have to worry about um, you know my bag and kicking it under the seat on the plane and a million other things and I haven't checked the weather yet to see um, what it's going to be like in Virginia so I figure I better take something that's going to be versatile. All right I have a stack of boxes over here that I need to get to but we won't get to all of those tonight because I actually need to finish packing um, but I do have a box here that I am going to open and I'm not sure what's in the box I'm hoping that it's a Dooney because if not I'd be a little embarrassed but let's just see I've ordered a few different things, and at some point, I'll get them all out and get them registered. But I really need to get through them before my warranty goes, or my return policy um, lapses, and then I am stuck. So, this is a bag you've seen on my channel before, but just in a different color. I was really torn, believe it or not, between um, getting black or whether I should get a different color and ultimately decided on red. I don't know what it is with me and a black bag, but I just can't bring myself to buy one. Now, the, the Michael Kors bag that Ivana recently showed on her channel in black, I really like that one and I probably need to go and check it out in person because black for me is just an occasional bag and I honestly believe that the few that I have are enough for the frequency that I actually carry a black bag and I'm trying to think I carried a black bag back this summer for a weekend because I had to travel for a funeral and I needed a black bag to go with my dress and then seems like it was the same thing last year two funerals and I ended up switching it into a black bag so this is the Kristen tote she has the side pockets and I love the shape of this bag I have some pretty old Kristens in my collection. 
I also have them in Croco. I have, um, I think I ordered a natural if I don't already have natural. And I really need a navy, but I don't think I've purchased that one yet. But this is the bag and I'm loving the smoothness of the leather. I'm not finding a lot of imperfections, so I'm pleased with that. And the back, there looks like the light just caught it right there, but it's on the back of the bag, so I think I can live with that. This is a very smooth bag. This is how I like my Florentine. So there she is. And let's see. There's the snap. You know, I guess as I'm thinking about this, red for me is the equivalent of black in some other collections, right? Um, there are some people that just believe in tried and true black or neutral colors. And for me, red is that. It is a go-to. To me, it's a neutral. It's a bold neutral. So I really like this. I really like the contrast here on the stitch wear. So even though the hardware is gold, it really looks nice against the um, stitch work on the bag. It almost makes the stitches look like they're gold. So I really, really like it. The patch on the front. I cannot wait to get into this bag because I am going to use the bag organizers that I did, um, that I revealed a couple of weeks back. I'm going to use that in this bag just to see it, how much space is left in the bag after that organizer and all of my crap is loaded in there. Although, if you watched my bag, um, what's in my bag from this morning, I at least feel like I've downsized a bit of what I've been carrying in my bag. But this one is massive when it comes to the opening and what it will carry. So I'm going to see how the bag organizer fits in here and to see if um, if there's anything that I absolutely don't have currently in my bag that this one would be able to hold and I can't think of anything. I thought about carrying a Florentine bag with me on this particular trip and I guess I could I'm not worried about rain or anything like that. Um, my concern is it being on the floor stuffed under my seat on the airplane because I am sure by the time I pulled it out, it would have scratches and dents and dings and probably shoe prints and everything else on it. So these are the two bags for tonight. So, let's see. I did unrelated. I did pick up the Philosophy 5-pack of the makeup wipes. This just simplified my entire travel experience because I'm constantly having to run to Target to pick up makeup wipes and... I've got those on auto delivery now, so they will just continue to come to the house. So that was great. I also picked up the TSV in the Purity just because I really want to try the new moisturizer. So I already have the Pore Extracting Exfoliating Clay Mask. I use that. I've got my nephew using it. But the ultra light moisturizer is something that I wanted to try compared to some of the other moisturizers that 
I've been using. So this is new. Haven't tried it. Definitely not going to travel with it this week. But that was the reason that I picked it up. And it has the large size of the Purity um, One Step Cleanser, which is my go-to cleanser here. So that is in there. And then I started a new subscription, and I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep it, but it's probably a little TMI, so um, I hope I don't offend anyone, especially since I omitted my Valentine's Day, uh, part of my Valentine's Day haul, uh, but going to share this one. So this is actually a subscription from a company by the name of Splendies. And Splendies has um, two lines, so it's Splendies and Volupties. Splendies are um, for your regular size, and Volupties are your plus size. So that's how you can kind of tell the distinction between the lines. It's kind of like New York and Company and Express versus Lane Bryant or The Avenue. But I don't know if you're like me, but a couple of times a year, usually four, which is, I guess, technically more than a couple, I will completely like overhaul my underwear drawer. I go and I buy new bras and new leggings and new socks and all of that. And it's time to do that now for me for the spring. So I was actually watching another a YouTube channel and I actually don't even remember now whose channel it was but um, it's actually an underwear subscription it takes all the guesswork out it takes the they don't have my size they don't have the color and it's actually you either pick um, a surprise pack and it's three to the pack or you can do a no thong pack and they'll send you like boy shorts or hip huggers or whatever you want so anything other than thongs um so this is my first thing uh from them and i'm gonna just tear these open i'm a little nervous because this was the i started in february and just received well i received it like two weeks ago but i've been debating on whether or not I was going to incorporate it into the video and was kind of hoping that they weren't going to necessarily be the um, the Valentine's Day ones because some of them were a little uh, inappropriate for primetime TV. So here it is, and I've got the information down in my box. I don't have a promo code or anything from them, just the information. But these are pretty neutral, so I can live with this. So here is the first pair and it does appear that they are thongs yep so there's that pair and then there's a black pair and they will automatically upsize you if the cut um, is small they'll go ahead and upsize you to make sure that they fit and that way you aren't constantly having to adjust and then here is just the last pair with briefs. And as you can tell, so my first box was, I think, $16.99. And this pair alone has an MSRP of $36. And it's like, I think it's like $17 bucks a month or whatever. And then this pair didn't have a price tag on it. Uh, but this pair, the very first pair, has... 12 bucks MSRP on it. So um, it'll make the overhaul of the undies drawer a little easier because they'll just come every month as a surprise until I decide to cancel the subscription. I think this will be one that I will enjoy as much as I am enjoying my brown sugar box. Um, I am still receiving the Hel not Hello, yeah, Hello Fresh, but for the last several weeks, they haven't had anything that I eat because I don't eat beef or pork, and everything has had like beef or pork or bacon or you know catfish. I don't, I'm not a catfish eater, so for the next few weeks, I've skipped that subscription box just because if I'm not gonna eat it, then it's a waste of money. 
So let me grab one more box. And we'll do one last Dooney unboxing. And then I need to go and pack because I have my first um, team meeting tomorrow that I'm actually leading. And I'm still in training. And maybe that's why I'm nervous about this one is because... I'm still training so, and now I'm leading a meeting even though I was told initially that I wouldn't have to do anything until around the 23rd of March which is my official graduation date from training but I want to get packed and I need to look over the material again so that I'm ready for tomorrow so that is why I'm gonna cut this a little bit short tonight Okay, so this bag, um, I'm hoping is not going to be too big. And by too big, I mean north-south because I realized in 2017 that I am an east-west um, bag girl. That's just my preference. Um, I have the Dawson, and I really enjoyed that bag, but it felt like a cave because everything... Um, just felt like it was in the bottom of that bag because it was just so north-south in silhouette. So what I picked up this time, let me just move that out of the way, is the Hattie, the large Hattie drawstring in the color Bone. I don't know what it is about this color, French vanilla, bone in the summertime that has me hooked, but I am loving this color. Oh my goodness. So I think this is absolutely gorgeous and I am about to flip out because the leather looks to be just as smooth as the red, and that is normally not my luck. But I'm hoping that, and I may need to do a comparison between the Dawson and this size bag, just to you can tell, um, just to see, you know, from a color size comparison what this one is like, how, how the size differs from that. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's pretty smooth. I mean, you know I like a cow with a good skincare routine. So this one is good. And here's the other side. Really, really nice, really soft. Let's look at, oh, let me show you the back of the bag. So there's the back. And there is the stamp. So uh, uh, the crest is not new. They, Dooney did this on a few bags um, or uh, several seasons ago. Um, like my Lucy, my Florentine Lucy and Chestnut has the Florentine stamp on the back where it's embossed. So for anyone that's relatively new to the brand, I just want you to know this is not new, but just like the changing of the front logos, every once in a while there will be a collection that I will say is prestigious enough in the design for the season um, where they will put the crest on the back of the bag. So I'm really loving that. I don't know that this is necessary, this little tab, because I was curious when Sue showed it on um, the QVC broadcast if it was like attached to the back of the bag so that it would help glide the drawstring through, you know, so that it wouldn't move. But as you can tell, it's not attached to anything, so I'm not sure what that little detail is about other than maybe being a stopper so that the 
drawstring doesn't move as much so that it stays perfectly centered. So maybe that's what that's all about. Um, here is the bottom of the bag and it is soft, squishy already. And I'm sure that it's that way because the inside of this bag is supposed to have the soft vanilla leather lining. And we're gonna just take a quick look in the inside. You see this strap? Do you see the thickness of this strap? Well, if I could get it out, I would show it to you. Things you can't edit on live YouTube. Okay, so that's off. Uh, I think this is, this is, oh my goodness. I like, let's see. So there's the strap and it is finished on both sides. And then it has the burnishing on the sides where it's sealed. And it's kind of picking up a little bit of like a orangey, or not an orange, a reddy brown color. And that's what that is. Really nice contrast and it matches, you know, the seam work on the top of the bag as well as pulling the color from the drawstring. And here is that braided string. I've got a lot of drawstring bags, but that's a little different compared to that one, right? I've had another bag with the little um, closed drawstring that looks like this. And sometimes, depending on um, your usage of the bag, that will loosen up and it will just slide down because it doesn't have this one this style drawstring does not have a center seam in the drawstring pull to help keep the tension off of the drawstring so every once in a while if you've got it weighed down or if you're using a bag like this and it doesn't have that center um it will actually slide down this one has that so each of the drawstrings actually has its own little home so to speak so that there's no tension rubbing against it so that when you draw this one up it will stay because that leather is going to hold each individual strap so i'm not sure from a um, from an accessory standpoint what i would use in this bag but we're gonna take a look at the inside and once I'm ready to carry her I will maybe do another what's in my bag I just had to force this down it's gonna really hold on to the braid and because of that divider on the inside so I'm already really liking the details it is worthy of the crest that is on the back of that bag of this bag all right i am going to try this week while i'm in virginia to make it to the outlet store i'm not making any promises because i just don't know what the evenings are going to be like but my plan is to make it to the outlets there in virginia so that i can see what they have and decide if I if there's anything there that's absolutely calling my name so there is the bag it does have the green suede lining here in the top one of the things that I really liked about the Buckley bag was the way that the drawstring was done and I'm a huge fan of the Buckley and the way that Peter Dooney engineered the drawstring on that particular style this one is different it's a traditional drawstring where the drawstring is actually on the outside visible on the outside of the bag i say that it works for this one because that's some nice detail that's a thick this is a thick thick braid um, and that detail looks nice on the outside of the bag um, it's just a little different in the buckley so i don't know that i have a preference 
um, because I've not carried this one yet, but I'm a fan of the Buckley bag. So there is the cream. Yeah, I'm going to call that cream or pale yellow smooth leather lining on the inside. I am sure that once this bag gets broken in that it's going to get even softer and it will slouch because as the leather in the inside softens unlike the cotton twill that will hold its shape this is going to soften and just make it a slouchy um a slouchy bag so the inside has two pockets let's see here Let's see. There we go. So there are two slip pockets on the front wall. And the back wall has the zipper and a smaller slip pocket. Here's what I've noticed on the back of this bag. There is one spot, and I can just tell. Let's see. Can you see that right there it's almost like the cow had a pimple and it left a scar right here in the middle but it's on the back of the bag it's not a cut um, it's still pretty smooth but if there's anything that I noticed, it's that. And there is the bottom of the bag. I really, really like this. No issues from a shoulder clearance. I'm just hoping, I think the Dawson maybe a little bit taller than this one i would be really surprised if they're the same size but maybe me just getting a little bit better organization in my bags from a north south standpoint would actually help with it feeling like it's a cave i think i want this in red i'm not sure that i ordered it in red I think I did. So that means one of those other boxes over here, and I have two more boxes. That means that one of these, one of those boxes has a red hattie. So I guess I better figure out how to make it work because you know if it's red, it's not likely to be returned. So, oh my goodness. This side of the bag is a little bit smoother than this one. If you can tell, this side does have a bit more texture to it. And I know it's probably hard to see under these lights. Um, I see the chance of, let's see it, let's see it. I've got two boxes though, so I'm not sure which one is which but i guess if i'm going to suspend the live chats after time change so that we can enjoy the summer weather maybe i should just go ahead and uh, pull it out so let's let me see if i can figure it out all right Let's see. I've got all kinds of stuff going on. All right. So, yet another box. Let me get my scissors out because I put those up. No, I didn't. They're out here. All right. Let's see.
think they sent me the wrong bag. I'm certain of it. Because... No. It says... That's strange. So, here she is. But I want you to take a look at the name on here. Do you see that? It says that it's the Cameron Satchel, which is what I just saw when I opened the front of the box. But it is definitely not the Cameron. It is the large Hattie drawstring. But I wonder if they have these mislabeled. I'm, one, I'm glad they sent the right thing. But they have these labeled incorrectly. So I wonder if... Um, these may end up showing up in the um, as-is purchases if they have this label on both the drawstring and the Cameron. And someone gets the drawstring expecting the Cameron, but because it's mislabeled, that could end up being a hot mess. All right. So... Not as smooth as the first one, as the Kristen. Not as smooth, as, as even as the bone. But, oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, there is nothing like a red bag. Now, the drawstring on this one, it's nice against the red, but I think it the bag pops, this bag pops. On the other one, on the bone, I think the drawstring really stands out more on this one because of the contrast. I may, I was um, out earlier today running some errands, picking up just some household stuff, and I found myself looking at like leather scotch guard, I think is what it's called. That, yeah, I think that's what it was called. Leather scotch guard. And I am thinking that I may try that on maybe an older bag. Or maybe on the bottom of a bag just to kind of see what it's going to do with the color of Florentine. Because these two bags are bags that I would absolutely want to scotch guard so that I don't have to worry about I don't have to worry about anything. So here's the bottom got a few little dings and imperfections but overall I love it it's beautiful I really like the strap I didn't show you this on the other one but this hardware so the logo lock is actually on the side of the bag so there's the and it's in red um i'm sorry gold and white on one side and then the duck on the other so you can just you know switch it up depending on your preference for the cream or the bone i'm gonna keep it on this side just because i think it will pop against the bag um, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. So for now, I'm going to just leave it on here. So, all right. So there's this one. It, look, it, it appears that it's a drawstring night because we've got this one. We've got this one. And then 
out of the Dooney Vault, we have this one. I didn't realize that it was going to be a drawstring night because I hadn't planned on opening the other boxes. But now that I'm in the middle of it, I might as well do the last one. Um, I think it's another Kristen tote, but I'm not sure because this box has been sitting for a while as well. Next on my list is something from the Emerson collection. I really, really like um, that collection and I just need to figure out what I want from it because I've got my eyes on several things in that collection. Even the, what is it, the Kyra, I think it's Kyra crossbody. So, I don't know what I did with a box cutter. I'm sure it's over here somewhere. I just can't find it. All right. So, yeah. There is definitely a color theme for the night. And it's the Kristen Tote. in bone I was not going to get this collar but there was just something about seeing it under those high intense lights during the last QVC presentation when it was presented that just pushed me over the edge Whew. so there's the theme there's a style, right? There's a style tonight. There's a, and then there's a, a, a color theme for tonight. This one though, it's not smooth, but it's not smooth anywhere. So, well, the bottom is smooth. <laughs> ah, the bottom is smooth. But the rest of the bag has texture. So since it has texture all around, I will live with it. Because it's evenly flawed. Does that make sense? Maybe it's not flawed. I know I'm a little hard on the cows in there and the leather, but the color of this, it just, it was just, it was just screaming to be paired. This one looks a little bit lighter than the Hattie. But they're both beautiful. But I do think there's a... This has a little bit more French vanilla in it than the Hattie. So, that's... Now, the... Kristen has the traditional red lining in it. The... Hattie has the leather, and we didn't look at the inside of the patent drawstring, but it has like a little fuchsia rim here at the top, and then it has a blue twill lining here on the, on the inside, but the leather is actually the same color as the trim on the inside of the bag. You see that? So, I think I'm gonna really enjoy these. So, just, uh, let me go and take a look 
at the comments. I thank you all for hanging around. I think a few people have uh, bounced out, but let's see. So for those of you that signed in um, after the start, the question that I posed um, was whether or not through the summer we'd like to continue with the 6 p.m. chat. And the reason that I'm asking is because I'm considering discontinuing um, until time changes back in the fall, just because of the warm weather and travel and maybe people are doing things outside, laying by the pool, out in the yard. I just didn't think that 6 p.m. every Sunday is going to be reasonable. So I think I may go back to filming on-demand videos and then just uploading those. And then as we get closer to the fall, actually announce when the um, Sunday chat will pick back up, when it's cooler, colder, dreary, not as much going on. We're trying to be inside in the warm anyway. So um, that's it. that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to go until um, probably right until time changes. So I think that's a couple more, a few more weeks. And then we'll discontinue until the fall of the year. So that's what I am considering. Julie, I do have an oyster um, drawstring in the patent leather. I have not carried that one either, but if I can dig that one out, maybe on the next one, I'll show that one. And it, I think it would also be interesting to see how the patent colors compare in saturation to the colors in the actual leather. So that may make for an interesting live chat as we wrap up the first part of the year series um time to relax i understand julie um so julie's vote is that we continue because she saves sunday evenings for relaxing anyway and maybe i don't know maybe i just won't do them as regular i'm not sure um i have no life so I'm, it's good with me okay all right hi mrs q um, all right. Hi, Brittany. Hello, Purse Fairy. Hi, Laverne. Hi, Jara. Just going through looking at the comments. I think... I I want the navy. I want the navy in the Kristen just because I think that one would be great for all occasions. It's a classic neutral color, but I did miss that one as well. I do use the side pockets, Mrs. Q. I usually have my personal phone in one when I carry it and my work phone in the other. So that's how I use the side pockets. It's always for um the cell phones and if it's the weekend and i'm not carrying my work phone which usually i do i may end up having something like throwing my keys in there um if i've gotten lazy or if it's the cold weather season i may take like my little travel size kleenex and keep that on the side in the pocket i have better use for those pockets than i have for the center zip but if you saw my earlier upload i actually um carried all week and survived with the center zip and i kept um my zyrtec and a, a bottle of mixed medications that i travel with and my carrington which i'm using right now red carrington that i'm using right now as a wallet i those were the only things that i kept in the center zip and then everything else was in the side pockets and that worked out beautifully. So I don't know if I switched like to a larger wallet or if I moved back into my Michael Kors, if I would still feel the same way about the center zip. But it worked this week and I didn't have the issues with it this week after I kind of got it organized um, that I had with the Daphne wallet because I, I, I survived two weeks of that. Um, and survived may be a little harsh, but I I could see me moving back in that bag um, 
soon. Let's see what else. I have. Hi, Toya, Tanya. So I see Tanya is new. Jara, I think, is new tonight. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Carry that in a lunch bag. Yeah, Miss Q, I, so I have, I'm going to be carrying this week my Newport um, tote. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do the black or the navy, but I'm leaning towards, believe it or not, the black. Uh, just because I've got laptop, I've got to carry files and notebooks and um, my calendar and all of that stuff uh, to home office this week for training. So I needed something that as I get stuff from the different people, that's going to be large enough for me to carry everything, but it's also going to be sized reasonably enough that I can get it back on the plane for the way on the return trip home, um, without any issues. So I'm going to switch out of my medium Russell, retro embossed bag, bag in black which I have been carrying religiously as my work bag and I'm going to switch in to one of the Newport totes for the purpose of this particular business trip and if I can think of it while I'm there I may record a what's in my bag but I typically at the end of the day I don't typically bring my work bag into the hotel um, if I don't have to get on my laptop and do work. So, um, let's see. Mrs. Q, I would get the natural anyway. Your department chief, hers is going to go to her house and yours will go to yours. And I, you will absolutely love it. Um, the smaller bags. Yeah, Ivana, you're, um, I think it's Mindy has piqued my attention. So that's one of the reasons that I'm hoping to get into the outlet this week so that I can take a look at it to just kind of get a better feel for me, the, you know, the scale of the size of that particular bag. Um, the purple is gorgeous. And I don't, it. May, it, the color says that it's lilac, but it really does. Um, it really is purple. It really has purple with the gold text logo on there. So I really like that. And um, let's see. I'm just going through the comments. Yes, just sharing. Sha has one as well. Um, blue bags. I've been carrying blue. It's just easy because um, my work shirts are either in white or blue or a combination of blue and white right now. So I'm carrying more blue and have purchased more blue in the last seven weeks, eight weeks, seven or eight weeks than I have, I think, in my entire lifetime. So... All right, so hello, Ashley. Thanks for joining. Oh, okay, so Jara asked a question about a north-south, what's a north-south bag versus an east-west, and I, the, tonight will be an easy time for me to show you. All right, so this bag here, the Kristen, this bag is more east-west, right? From a profile standpoint, um, she's just as wide as she is almost tall. Whereas a bucket bag like this one is more north-south. So it's you have to dig more in your bag, right? So I'm, I'm up to my elbow in this bag because it's so um tall north to south as opposed to something like maybe a charleston um some of the totes 
that are more east-west. They're longer than they are tall. That's what we mean um, by north-south versus east-west. So I hope that answered um, your question. Let's see. A 20 by 19 organizer. Huh. So I use the medium. No, it, I started with the medium in the pink triset of organizer inserts that I, that was, that's all confusing. So the bag organizers that I revealed a couple of weeks ago that came in a three set. So I started putting the medium size one in the Courtney tonight and realized that, wait a minute, that Courtney, even though it's nylon, it's a big bag. So the, the biggest organizer actually fit in there. There is one that I'm looking at on Amazon and I'm not sure because it looks to be way bigger than any of the bags that I have. So I'm trying to figure out if I purchase it and it's too big to actually go inside a bag, what other uses could I use it for around the house? There's also a baby, what is it? No, a diaper. There is a soft-sided diaper pail. Yeah, I think it's a diaper pail on Amazon. So it's like a little portable caddy that you can put like your wipes and powder and pampers and all that stuff in. And it has a, a, um, a handle on it and it's got all kinds of little organization. And you can kind of custom um, design it in the inside. And I've got my eye on that as well, trying to figure out if that's going to be too large to go in even a bag that's this size. I know it would be too much for something like this, but I'm just wondering with a bag that has, you know, a little bit more space, if that would be too much. So I won't buy both of them at the same time because of the dimensions. And if the largest one or even the medium one were than the largest one, you know, that would be too much. So um, let me go back. I think I lost my spot. So I see that, um, so Joshi is recommending a 9 p.m. time for the chat, and that may be, that may be doable. Um, hi, Teresa. No, I'm not going to return the red. I'm definitely gonna, going to keep that. Um, let's see. Let me go back. I'm scrolling back up because there are tons of, um, there's a ton of chat and I haven't really been able to keep up with it tonight. So I'm just trying to scroll back up so that I don't miss any of the comments that I should be responding to. Although it looks like the group is taking care of a lot of the responses. So I really appreciate that. Hi, Nita. Okay. Um, hi, go, go girl, Mandy. Teresa has the Hattie in taupe, and I'm sure that is gorgeous. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm going from bold colors and neutrals and not much in between um, right now. <laughs> Mrs. Q wants a, a Hattie. Um, I don't have the dimensions in front of me. And my cell phone is on the charger. So I actually don't have the dimensions of any of these bags, but um, they should still be available on QVC if you're curious about um, what the actual dimensions are. It looks like Ivana took care of Jara's question as well. Yeah, the, the, um, one of the things that I experienced, but I've only experienced it with the bone color, is color transfer. So I learned the hard way, don't wear like new jeans when you're carrying a bone bag. And if so, be prepared to take it into the ladies room and, you know, with paper towels and, um, you know, I to try to get some of that color off of there. My Kimberly, which was a pebble leather, 
I used um, paper towels, um, warm water, and soap while I was traveling to just get that off so that the color didn't sit. But um, that, that would be my concern with the bone color is just color transfer. It looks like um, Julie would like the chat to be once a month and that may work. That way I can kind of announce uh, in advance what weekend is going to be around my travel plans. So that may work. Um, Teresa, I like the drawstring Emerson as well, although I'm looking at what's surrounding me tonight and thinking that I may need to pull back on the drawstrings for just a little bit so that I can get some of these um, into my rotation. So we are just a little over the one hour mark. So I'm gonna try to get this wrapped up here pretty quickly so that I can finish packing and go look over my presentation material. All right, seems like I saw dates for the meetup. And okay, so I'm seeing eight o'clock to so move the chat to eight o'clock. Um, we've got May 11th to the 13th for the trip for, uh, for the meetup in Chicago. So I need to start looking at flights for that. If there's anyone that's going to be traveling in town and is actually going to be staying in a hotel, send me an email and let me know, um, where you're planning to stay. And maybe we can, um, you know, book our reservations at the same hotel that is unless Joshi is um, maybe getting a hotel to block um, a few rooms for us to all stay at the same place which would also be nice all right it looks like people are dropping off and I'm at the end of the comments I have boxes and handbags everywhere. So that's going to be it for me. So, um, yes, Pauline, and if, if there isn't one, then the two of us can just um, chat and decide where we want to stay and um, just book our rooms at the same property if that works for you. At least we'll um, know someone there. Alrighty, ladies and gents, thank you so very much for watching. Um, it's going to be a busy, crazy week, but I am hopeful that I am going to be able to get to the outlet, fingers crossed. It's a work business trip, so it could get crazy and I may not be able to make it because it's, it's going to be about an hour from where I'm staying. So I'm hopeful that I'll be able to do that. And I'm um, also hoping that I'll be able to film an actual what's in my bag, uh, what's in my work bag, like a for real work bag, not, um, not like a bag that I'm carrying to work with my personal stuff in it, but an actual briefcase style usage of a bag. And that maybe that's just me telling my age and speaking a bit about my profession that I still need that but um I'm hoping that I will be able to film those two things um and if I'm lucky we'll be able to edit and get them uploaded before I return home at the end of the week so thank you so very much for watching until next time I do hope that you're finding something that feeds your Dooney addiction take care